Growing up in Italy, obviously, it was very difficult times. It was a few years after the war. We had poverty in Northern Italy. That's where the Nazis were stationed. And uh, I remember being outside and I said, God, why are we living here? Why am I here? I have no shoes. And my father had wanted to come to the United States and he had applied, it took us two years. So when we did come from Italy, we lived in a one bedroom apartment or flat, they would call it in Chicago. We were four children. Later, my mom added another one. My father was dying of cancer when I was 14. He was in bed for two years and then dies. My brother and I, who was a year older than, than me, went to work. I worked at a paint store, came home at 11 o'clock. They closed at 10.30. And we did everything we could to support the family. And then I realized I couldn't finish school. My father died. And then my brother, who was a year older, got cancer, and he dies two years later. So I was the oldest one, and we brought back the check. And that's what it was, it was survival. I think everybody has challenges, and sometimes we stop short of overcoming them. You know, just go a little bit further, push yourself. I self-educated myself, you know, I was at the library almost every weekend. Every weekend I go home with books on anything I needed to learn, design, I learned how to draft, electrical, anything I needed. I think overcoming challenges have always succeeded. When I was young, seven, eight years old, there was a neighbor that would come over and we'd bake cakes. Then I went into the cookie business, this business. Started in my kitchen. And I said, okay, I did that. I'm gonna send out the biscotti to Costco. Send it out Monday, Wednesday morning, I get a call from Bay Area. We love these biscotti. We love the size, we have the amount of nuts, we love the flavor, everything about it. We want purchase order in. Can you deliver in three weeks? And I said, yes. Okay. From there, it flooded in. But I started business ground up. I know production systems, I know accounting. If I could have an influence on what's happening, a positive influence on what's happening in Arizona, that's what I want to do. I'm not a politician. My name's not out there. It hasn't been out there. It's more difficult for me, but if people recognize what I can do, they need me. I'm the person that's going to deliver the results that people have been waiting for. I believe if people get to know me, they know what I stand for and what I'm able to do for them, I would win hands down. I know that I can run this state as a business. We're going to trim the fat off this government as I trim off the fat off my prosciutto.